Hello, welcome to an art video. I recently bought Jazz's Artist Illustrator Kit, which I will be trying out in this video. I bought it last second for about 19 euros and received it this week. Today I will be coloring in this drawing, but I realized pretty quickly that I would have to try it out first to get the hang of things, as I am not experienced with markers. So I chose a marker and tried it out. I drew some lines with the regular tip and with the brush variant. I also tried out the blending marker, but alas I did not know how to use it properly yet. I tried blending two colors but that did not work. I just started drawing. One of my characters called Handel, a half elf. I did not think that the markers were pleasant to work with, but of course I was just trying them out. The more I use the markers, the better I become at using them, and the more pleasure I experience using them. So I have now drawn Handel's face, but it doesn't look that good. So for the rest of his body, I thought that it would be better to sketch in pencil as I'm more experienced in drawing with pencils. After laying out some lines, I started coloring in Handel with some markers. Of course, I did not know how to blend markers yet. I gave the blender one more go. I tried drawing one of those shadow balls, but I am not good at doing those kind of things, I have found out, especially not with this marker. This is also probably the point where I realized that the blender only lightened the color on the page. To make up for my lack of marker experience, I fix my mistakes, did the shading and add little details with coloring pencils after giving Handel an outline first. I must say, for a test with little experience, this drawing still turned out pretty nice. The next three pages turned out less nice, as I used bad paper which let marker through. Next time I will use the paper that came with the kit. Now for the coloring page, 
this test had slid up to. The old lore teller. But I had a different plan. I would make this lore teller one of my own characters called Jurefi, a wise old man. I started by adding some detail to the row. Golden line. I then proceeded to color in the row with a red color. And the sleeves of the outfit with a more aqua color. I gave him beige trousers, which are supposed to look a bit worn, but it was pretty hard not knowing how to blend the markers yet. I gave the other clothes a brownish color. His skin was pretty difficult because there wasn't a nice color which matched his skin, so I made it orange for the moment. He is holding an old book, a book with the markings of a, the face of a dragon. It closely resembles the colors of the faction his grandson is in, Handel. The markings seem to glow. Instead of coloring the papers, paper colors, I gave them more vibrant, colorful colors. In my mind, they are pieces of cloth. Another thing that wasn't supposed to be on the drawing was hair, but I added hair because Giraffe has hair. The birds are also not regular birds, no, no. They are the four Eldrians, gods which have taken on the shape of pigeons, each with their own color. I finished the piece by shading it with pencils.
and added his name behind him. Or so you thought. While my phone died, I sketched some background. I go over the pencil lines and shade with markers. I have learned how to blend the markers together. You start with one of the darker colors and you add the light colors on top. It was a bit of trial and error finding out which ones to put first, but eventually I got the, the gist of it. Jerefi was standing on a part on the edge of a desert and some mountains. I got inspired by I Inspire, a podcast I was listening to, also made by Jazza and his tabletop team. I went all out and even added shading coming from the sun.
I colored in the sky and after around 10 hours with midnight approaching I finished the drawing with a signature I hope you like the end result and thanks for watching